So, welcome to my little off near guide as to what I'm using and just a basic strategy on how to win. So, let's go through my equipment here. With Thrud, I'm using a Fafnir helmet in slot 1, which um, my first four people are going to be melee class. You want a Fafnir helmet in the single slot in each one. Um, I'm using the Yagdrazil blade because of the skill gauge up and the speed up, which just works for everything in general. Um, a straw hat and her bikini because of the large attack boost and the HP boost is really nice. Now see, the key with this is, is you want to, under the Fafnir helmet, I have to have a, a some kind of healing item on, on the first one, but you want to load it up with as much attack as you can. That's the key. Even over here, attack, attack, attack. You know, and this is just for a little bit of ac extra survivability. Okay, so let's move to Ayame. Um, we got the Faf helmet, uh, the Celestial helmet for a little bit of healing and a little bit of attack and a good HP and defense bonus. Again, another Yagdrazil blade because it does it to the front two heroes, so having two is good. And then the Blade of the Fallen just for the sheer attack power it gives. And then just, you know, a basic ring over here for a little bit more survivability and some attack buffs and some HP there. With the Ring of Nibblon. Alright, let's go to Sasha. Um, we got the Fafnir Helmet in slot 1 again. Um, Asgard Blade for pure attack power because that's really all that matters. Some, um, another regen hat. And the bloody umbrella because the HP, the attack power, and defense. Plus the fact that it gives you defense 35% up for self to two turns, which gives her quite a bit more survivability as well as the standard on the other side. Um, let's go for Lamina. Again, Fafnir Helmet, um, the Giant Scissors, because of the defense down. That really, really helps. And with her having mastered herself for two turns, when her skill procs, then you have a good chance of that using. Um, a good Winged Helmet for some health, regeneration, and the Vigrid for the attack power. And then let's go to Balder, which is just, I gave him, you know, this for the extra health. Just a little bit of heals here with the uh, ice cream popsicle thingy. It's not much, but the evasion for 25% works pretty good. And then the Psycho Crusher to reduce his attack for two turns. And then just, you know, standard buff equipment on the other side to jack up the, his health points because he doesn't really need much as far as attack. And now let's move on to the doing the actual fight. So let's see how I do against Offnir. Let's roll. Loading. Okay, here we go. So, here's the thing with off near. I prefer to keep the auto off. And seeing as the skills for Thrud and Ayame do absolutely nothing, I don't need to use them and the limit burst is pointless. So, I'm only going to use the healer. I'm only going to use Sasha. 
and I'm only going to use Lamina. The healer is obvious. Lamina because she gives Master to herself for two turns, so that's really good for uh, to make equipment, equipment proc. And Sasha because it gives her a uh, counterattack for two turns. And a, a lot of this fight is luck based because if your counterattack gear doesn't have uh, use it when when Offnir happens to attack, then it's just wasted and you won't get any damage to him. So. A lot of the times that you're going to lose this fight a lot of the time no matter how good well geared you are just because of bad RNG. But pretty much ignore the crystals. Auto will really hurt you in this fight because you don't want to use the limit break because that just eats up time. And you just keep using these skills over and over and over again, and hopefully you win. You just gotta make sure that all your Fafnir helmets happen to use the skill so you can reflect the damage back. See, like, that was a pretty decent hit. There you go. That, the, uh... White damage popping up. The yellow damage popping up on Offnir is the reflection from uh, Merc, uh, Sasha's skill. And all the green ones that pop up. See, I had nothing that could block him that time. So I took all that damage. Which just sets me back on time. But there he took a good hit that time. And he'll probably take another good hit this time. Because he always does those pulses in groups of two. And that, that's his special skill, and that's where you can get a good chunk of damage if he happens to hit you with that. When you have all of your uh, counterattacks ready. See, boom. And just keep at it and hope that you win, pretty much. I mean, he's, I don't think he's hard. He's just one of the harder uh, Super Connect bosses. He's definitely harder than uh, Genesis Shamir and Anger Boda. I think he's a little harder than Mimir. And I don't have much experience with uh, Besla yet, so... But, looks like that fight turned out pretty great right there. Boom, and there he goes, and I had 57 seconds to spare. All in all, that's pretty good. And, that's basically how it works fighting off near. And I didn't get a soul that time, but, it looks like, the most of my damage came from Thrud with Lamina, Sasha, and Ayame in that order. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.